Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it's Monday, which means it is time to decorate. So just jumping straight on in. As you can see, I have a lot of little post-it notes this week. And I've also got to fix my boo-boo from last week. So if you were watching when I did my seaside, seaside week, you know I made a bit of a mistake. And so I've really badly damaged the top of this page. So I will be fixing that um, in this, I will be fixing that in this video. So today we're going to be using stuff from the Kayser Craft Daydreamer range. Um, if you haven't seen this, you need to go and check it out because it's quite possibly my favorite range Kayser Craft, unless I have ever made. It's the favorite one I've ever found. Um, I'm sure they've made thousands of collections that I've never seen. Um, but I adore this. It's just so, so pretty. So we're going to start off with a page out of this notepad or paper pad. I'm just grabbing, there is, just grabbing this sort of pink one that fades into white. So what I want to do is put this along, putting the dark pink along the bottom and it will be a slightly different shade on each side obviously because it is fading. So this side will have the slightly darker this will have a slightly lighter and this will have lighter and lighter so you you get the point in a second it's just more that I want to have the dark at the bottom and because I don't want to use two pages for it I'm just doing it this way so I'm just gonna grab my glue tape I'm just gonna run this on the bottom and then just stick this down I'm just taking it right up to where the dotted line is so I'm just sitting right on top of it there we go. and then just trimming off the excess I don't mind too much if I trim off just a little too much I'm just trying to make sure that I always have enough on here because I know the last couple of weeks I've made that mistake and I don't want to do it just a little bit extra but that's okay so I'm gonna repeat that on the other side now, I know usually I work on one page at a time but I'm gonna do it a bit of a different way today Gluing all along there and then putting it in the same spot so just sitting on those lines uh, dots sorry and then just trimming that off that's what it looks like when it is finished now as you can see they are slightly different shades of pink but it's not too bad so I think that's okay and then we're gonna do the same thing on the top so we're gonna have the pink and then the other pink kind of debating if I want to do it the really lighter if I just like it with the slightly deeper and I think I like it with the deeper so I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on both of these sides and I'll be back in just a sec So that's what it looks like top and bottom so it's got that really slight fade it's very hard to see but I do I think you can tell so the next thing I'm gonna do is go back into this paper pad and what I love about some of these is that they actually have die cut shapes at the back um, so what I'm doing is punching out this one with the gorgeous stars but we're actually going to use it as a template as opposed to actually using it because it's not long enough being gentle with it because I do want to use it again. There we go. Because it's not long enough to sit where I want it to. So what I'm going to do is use it as a template and then kind of extend it so that it sits where I want. So how I'm doing that, so I'm grabbing 
the actual 12 by 12 sheet of this, which is so pretty. And what I'm gonna do is cut it, or not cut it, but measure it out to how tall my page is. So I'm just lining that up there. And then just grabbing a pencil. Whoops. This is why you use pencil. And why I'm pushing really gently. And I'm just going to put that sort of in the middle and I'm almost going to sketch the main, so I'm going to trace around for the main shape. So there we go. It's kind of a weird shape, but it'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then I'm going to double back and flip it over and put it on this side. That's why I left this side empty. So I'm going to go and cut it out with my big trimmer and I'll be back in just a sec. first one cut out. I deliberately left a little bit of extra space at the top, like um, on the sides, just so that it comes out a little bit further. I want to make sure that it definitely covers all the holes. So I'm really happy with that. I think that looks really cool actually. So I'm going to go ahead and trace that on the other side and cut it out and I'll be back in just a sec. So there are the two shapes. Oh no, that's pencil. I thought that was dog hair. I need to grab an eraser and rub that out. Forgot that I'd accidentally done that. It's gonna get covered up anyway, but I just don't like it being there. So then we're gonna put these down on here. Just make sure they're sitting nicely, which they are. It's just not quite covering the seven, which I wish it was. I can't really make it wider now, so I'm just going to leave it. Not going to freak out about it. So I'm just going to stick these down. So just using glue tape as per normal. Just making sure I get plenty around the edges so that they don't peel off. I keep saying I'm not going to do that on my desk anymore and every time I still do it. So just lining that up with the bottom and the edge, making sure you can't see any white. There we go. And then just doing the same thing on the other side. Okay, so there's our whole big thing. Just need to punch the holes in it just so I can really see what it's going to look like. I'm just punching these out. Oh, I love this hole punch. Don't forget, this is your free gift this month from Kiki K if you spend over $30. Is the um, stationery kit that this hole punch comes in. So now is your chance to get the best hole punch or best single hole punch that I know of for free. Just have to spend $30. Okay, so 
that's where we've got all of those bits done. I have already made myself a tinsy mincy little shaker for this week. So it's just using the fuse tool as per normal. Um, one of the little cutouts from the sticker page, which looks like this, which I've already used a ton of, unfortunately. Um, but I just made it out of that and covered it with paper at the back. Um, just, I really like the shakers, but I realize how long they take to make. So I don't like to spend heaps of time making them on camera. The next thing we're do, gonna do is get our um, flipper for the footy details made. So I'm just grabbing this spotty sheet. And what I wanna do with it, I'm just gonna put this off to the side. So I'm gonna fold it in half. So the first thing I'm gonna do is measure out half so that I get this right. Doing a really pale or really faint line down the edge here, or down the where I think the middle is, and I'm just grabbing my paper trimmer. I'm just using my big one. This is the same trick I showed you with how I've been scoring things recently to make sure that my lines are straight. So I just put it in my trimmer. I grab my um, scoring tool. I think real word problem with my words. And then just running that down. That way this will fold in half. Well, it'll fold nicely and then we can decide if it's in half. That's not bad. For me, that's pretty good. I'm really bad with measuring. I never seem to get it quite right. So what I'm gonna do is stick this down and I'm gonna use a fair amount of tape here because I am gonna cut a bit. I'm just gonna run, just gonna fix this edge up because it's the only bit that's not straight or not completely right. I'm really having issues with my paper trimmer at the moment. It's leaving furry bits everywhere and I hate it. I think I need a new blade, which is stupid because I only got a new blade a couple of weeks ago. So that's a little bit too big I could have it that big, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to cut it, not quite into, do I want to do more right at the bottom? No, I don't. I'm just going to have it so it sits just above that line. I'm just measuring roughly where that is. I've just had a thought, but I don't think I could make it work. What I, what I think would be really cool is if along the top here I actually had footy, but I don't actually think I can make that work. I don't think I'm that clever. But I'm gonna give it a shot anyway, because I want to. I'm not going to do it for two reasons. Number one is twos. It's round 22 and I'm really bad at drawing twos. Um, I may attempt this again in another week. Um, and the second reason is because when I rub that off, I've actually changed the color of the paper. It happens sometimes with craft paper. So I'm just going to cut it so that that way it's not a problem. We can try that another week. I'll give it a shot off camera and see if I can make it work. So I'm just grabbing my punch board. So I feel like I need to make a bit of an apology with this punch board. If you watched the review that I did on this board, I said I didn't like it and I think I was too harsh. The ridiculous thing is I think I use this more than any other of the tools. I definitely use it more than my planner punch board and I definitely use it more than my one, two, three punch board. But it's just for what I bought it for, it really didn't do what I wanted it to do. But I do use it and I do love it. I think it's great. It's just I didn't envision it being what it is if that makes sense there we go. so there's my little punch boards I'm just going to do the corners as well because I like the corners being round there we go. 
So then we just have to work out where that's going to sit. So our footy detail one is done. Now all I've got to do is put that in. So it's going to sit mostly on that side. And you've got your little shaker at the top. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and write in all the details that I want to write in, put all the footy stuff in and put all these little bits and pieces and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so that's all the footy details. What I was going to do is put a sticker at the top. What I've decided instead is to jump into the um, die cut kit that comes with this collection. I have bought a lot of this collection actually, but I really love it. I'm just going to grab this ribbon kind of one. I think that actually is going to look really nice just sitting right there. So I'm just going to grab my sticker maker. Just run this through here. Hold up, just before I do, just try and decide if I want to do it. That's better. I'm going to do it that way instead. It's always good to have a look at it before you make it sticky. Good. I think I'm out of sticker. Yes, I am. Good thing I bought new stuff. I just bought a new one, so it's all good. Doesn't matter if it sits off a little bit because I'm going to rub the stickiness off. Go. Okay. Just making sure that sticks down right. And then just on the other side, I'm just grabbing my razor and just rubbing on the back, which will get rid of all the adhesive. Just so it doesn't stick to something. I'm just being gentle though so I don't get the paper. We don't end up discolouring it. Then I'm just writing round 22 up here. Just occasionally, my handwriting's not so bad. Righto. So, next thing I'm gonna do is write in all of my little bits. So I'm just gonna grab my little stickers that I need. I'm just gonna go through here and put all my stickers in where I need to. signify my live video that's going to be on the 16th so it's this Wednesday everybody get your planners all organized so we don't forget that just want I want a sticker but I don't think I've got what I want I know what I'm gonna use so I'm just grabbing the stamps that also come in this kit yes I got a lot of it just grabbing this little heart. And my block. I just need to decide what colour I want to use. I was going to stamp everything in navy blue, but now I don't know if I will. Before I do that, I might just do my numbers, because I want my numbers to be on green paper this week. I'm just grabbing this off cut. I wasn't going to, but I will. And I'm just going to cut there. And I just want to make, kind of want to do circles like I did last week, but I know I did it that way last week, so I don't want to do the same thing again. So I'm just trying to think if I have anything else that'll punch out a shape. Okay, 
I'm kind of umming and ahhing about doing a star and I just again don't think I can pull it off so I am just going to revert back to doing the circle the same way I did last week it's just such an easier way to do it I do love this circle punch so I'm just going to punch out my circles I'm just going to go ahead and grab some stamps, stamp all these out, stick them down and I'll be back in just a sec. ahead and stick all of those down. I'm going to use my sticker maker again just because I think it's a little bit easier with the little dots. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. weeks I haven't been putting the days of the week on I am going to do that this week so I'm going to really quickly go ahead and stamp all of these Thing that needs to be put into here is all the details about my cousin's 21st which is on Saturday which is all day Saturday so I'm just I want I want something ah, I know what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna bring this big yellow sticker I'm gonna put it right in the middle there I'm just gonna write in George's 21st in here it is all day she gets a big party that's how cool is she that she gets the whole day as a party and all my family's flying in so I'm really 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 excited um, the only downside not that it's a big downside but it's a little downside is that I have to work on Sunday so put that detail in righto now I need to work out what the heck it's missing so first thing I'm gonna grab Where'd my footy details go? There they are. So I just need something to put on this side. I'm grabbing that one there that says, if you dream it, you can do it. I just want to stick that on the back. I'm just putting it in the bottom corner. There is another one. I can't remember if it says cute or... One that says hello, and I don't want to use the hello. I'm going to grab this bunting. I'm going to stick that along the top. That's going to go through the sticker maker because it's a little bit too um, delicate for me to try and stick glue tape on because I'll probably break it. feel like we need something over here. So I'm going to grab this one here that says start each day with a grateful heart. I know we've said that about a thousand times, but it is still very true. But I just want to cut off a little bit because it's a little yellow at the bottom, which is kind of annoying me. So I'm just sticking, actually, I'm just going to do it freehand. 
just because I think it's going to do more damage to the sticker. I'm just going to turn it into a bit of a flag. I'm just going to cut off the triangles at the end. So that is my week using the absolutely spectacular Daydreamer collection. Like I said, I still can't get over how gorgeous this collection is. I have used it so many different times in different projects, um, in my planner, not in my planner, just all over. And I just can't, can't get enough of it. I think I bought like eight different items from it. Um, the only thing, oh, that's what I should have done. I should have used one of these stamps instead. But anyway, a bit late now. If you did like this one, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see how I made the little shaker, if you go over to my monthly decoration where I used the 2018 Sweet Collection, you kind of get the idea. So go and have a look at that one and let me know if that doesn't give you enough information and I can always do another video on it another day. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Don't forget my live video is this Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Make sure you're here for that. I'd love, love, love to see you there. If you can't make it, leave me a question down below so that I can answer it on the night and you can watch it afterwards. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week and I will see you live on Wednesday. See you later. Bye.